Hey guys, Clay Hayes here, and today we're gonna go over a few things that I like to do to get prepared for the upcoming elk season. I like to uh, shoot in the situations that I'm gonna be shooting in in the woods, and I usually have a day pack on, and I always have my binoculars on. But as the summer goes on, I'll start actually hiking around and doing some stump shooting with this pack. I'll be doing some uphill and downhill shooting. I'll be kneeling. I'll be shooting under brush. Uh, just any kind of con conceivable situation that I might be in when I've got an elk close. I'm going to try to mimic that stuff as, uh, as closely as I can. And um, a lot of the times that means hiking hard, getting out of breath, and then making a shoot because I can't tell you how many times I've had to run to get into position when an elk's coming in. And if you can't make a shot when you're huffing and puffing, you know, your, your, your chances in those situations really go downhill. Now, I've got these arrows already made up. Uh, I do have broadheads on them and I'm gonna shoot my broadheads um, into these hay bales. And I'm just, you know, I don't want to mess up my arrows. This is the arrow, or these are the arrows that I'll be hunting with. And so, you know, broadheads just increase your chance of uh, busting a knock and splitting your arrows, messing your arrows all up. So all I'm doing is picking out a different piece of hay on this hay bale every time I shoot. And so I'm shooting at a different spot and so I don't have to worry about busting up my arrows. I hunt with a self bow. And so this is the bow that I'm probably gonna hunt with this year. And so this is the bow that I'm gonna be shooting every day. But I also keep a modern glass bow handy. And the reason I do this, I keep this in my house, just right next to my back door. The reason I've got this bow in the house is to practice my draw and hold. You know, I'll draw this bow and hold it for, you know, 20, 30, 40 seconds sometimes. And this is a 50 pound bow. Whereas you could probably do that with a self bow, but it puts undue stress on the bow. You know, shooting that bow every day is fine, but to draw and hold it at full draw for 30 seconds, you know, like I said, you could probably get away with it just fine, but I feel like over time that would just start to deteriorate the bow a little bit. And so I do keep this bow uh, handy just so I can draw and hold this thing and develop those muscles. You know, you you draw, you get into your back, and then you just sit there because sometimes you run into hunting situations where that might be necessary. And I've, hear, I've heard a lot that when you're hunting with a stick bow, you just have to draw and release. Well, that, you know, I guess if you're shooting a 70 pound bow, that might be the case. But if you shoot a manageable weight, which like I said, I hunt with about, um, my draw length is 29 and a half and I shoot with bows that are anywhere from 48 to 55 at 28. So at 29 and a half, I'm probably gaining about three pounds off the listed weight. Now in a future video, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this pack up so that you can see what I have with me on my average daily elk hunt. And there's not, I mean, you can see this thing, it's pretty flat, there's not a lot of stuff in there. Um, it's a 3,500 uh, inch pack, but I don't, I mean, this, one of the great things about these Seek Outside packs is they are very, very light. And so I don't, I basically carry game bags, uh, a couple of knives, water bottles, um, things like that. I don't literally load it up with a bunch of stuff, even though you could. Um, but anyway, I'll, I will go ahead and open the pack up, show you what I carry for a bugle, my elk calls, um, all that stuff we'll go over. Don't let elk season catch you off guard. It's uh, still early enough if you're watching this video right after it comes out, middle of July, early August. Get out there and practice every day, even if it's just one arrow. Make that arrow count. Put everything you've got into it. Um, one of the things I like to do is just go through this mental exercise where I, it's almost like meditation. You, you're imagining yourself in this situation and it never works out the same way when you're in the woods and you have an elk coming in. But if you run through these various situations, you know, you've got an elk coming in and he stops and you have to sit there and wait. Um, go through these things, really put your, try to put yourself in that situation in your mind and then take that shot. And it really does help to prepare you, even though things will never work out exactly the same, it will help to prepare you for those various situations when 
something similar happens in the woods. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be uploading uh, some elk hunting stuff. I'll probably do some more uh, practicing and stump shooting type things, just getting in preparation, making sure all my equipment's in order. Uh, we'll go through the bag, show you what I carry on a day hunt. Um, probably do some broadhead sharpening, things like that. So anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you next time.